Good morning, this is Monica with the Umatilla County Special Library District Takeoff Program, sharing Wordy Birdie, written by Tammy Sawyer and illustri illustrated by Dave Motram. I've been sharing this story across the county this month and we are loving it. There are several versions of this already on YouTube, but I figured I would add mine as well, um, just because we've been having so much fun. So this is Wordy Birdie. Oh, look, even before the title page, let's get started. Yay, you're so close to the story right now. Just turn the page. She's very excited. I am too. Well, we are in a pretty great book. I agree with that statement completely. Let's see. All right, and like I said, my name is Monica, and this Wordy Birdie is written by Tammy Sawyer. And it's, so our author is Tammy, which wrote the book, and illustrated by Dave. That means he made the pictures. So we know who wrote the words. We know who wrote, or who drew or created the illustrations. Those are the pictures. And I get to be the reader sharing the story. And you all are my audience. I like sharing this book, um, especially at the beginning of the school year, because it is so important to understand that listening is something that we need to practice and we need to know how to do. Meet Wordy Birdie. Wordy Birdie has lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up, see? Hello sunrise, hello pink sky, hello orange sky, hello yellow sky, hello, oh, hello gorgeous. Ooh, I like the way she starts her day. Sometimes Wordy Birdie talks about what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head. Everybody pat your head. There we go. Sometimes she talks about what she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad, or losing my balloon, or sometimes she just asks questions. Why do zebras have stripes? Is Bigfoot real? Are we there yet? But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the world's best listener. Look, Rabbit says, oh, please. Raccoon says, are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay. Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. Squirrel says, that's more like it. She never listens to anybody, even when she should. This one time, I totally went swimming with a narwhal. My third cousin, Barb, is a penguin. Really? Do you think there's an award for bird of the year? Fact. People used to think that the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. One day, Wordy Birdie takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she has plenty to say. That's a pretty tree. That's a pretty danger sign. That's a pretty tree and... What did that sign say? Hmm, let's look at this. Danger ahead, turn back. Well, she was pointing to the trees and the sign and she just breezed right over that. Hmm, let's see. Before long, squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Oh good, oh good, oh good. Stop, don't go any farther. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Ooh, a pine cone. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a sign. Ooh, a leaf. Let's see, what does this sign say? Wrong way. Hmm, she's just going. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. 
go back while you still can. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Yay, my favorites. Strawberries for me and carrots for me and tomatoes for me. Look, I think she missed this sign. This sign says no trespassing. It has a big paw print there. No trespassing. What does trespassing mean? Let's see. Passing. I understand what that means. It's like to pass through somewhere, to go through. No trespassing. That would definitely mean this is not your property. This is not a place for you. Stop. You do not belong here. I don't think she's noticing that this garden is not for her. Oh, raccoon. Then raccoon gives a piece of advice. Oh, good. I wonder what raccoon has to say. Let's see. <gasps> Run for your life. Does Wordy Birdie listen? <gasps> what do you think? Oh, look at raccoon's face. He looks a little exhausted, if you ask me. Whoa! It's getting darker and darker and darker, darker and darker. And looky there! White circles and triangles. I love white circles and triangles. Mm -hmm. That looks like more than just white circles and triangles to me. <gasps> I was right. Roar, 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 roar. Oh! Look at her eyes turned into big white circles, didn't they? Do squirrel, rabbit, and raccoon just leave wordy birdie there? We do not. Look, she's so worried she's losing her feathers. They're everywhere. Come on, follow us this way. And wordy birdie. Hmm. She listens. That was almost unbearable. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Inside that, there's the word bear hidden right in there. Okay. That was almost unbearable. Hooray! We made it! Then Wordy Birdie says thank you the best way she knows how. I love you guys like I really, really, really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns. And Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? Good night, sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple. Ooh. Oh, it looks like she's looking in the mirror again. It says, oh, good night, you. But sometimes she likes to listen to. Look what her friends are saying. Remember when we totally saved you from that bear? We were brave and amazing. And that was so cool. Now that's what I call a good story. I'm going to read it again and again and again. And then she'll read it approximately 523 more times. This is true. Yep. Wordy birdie. I sometimes feel like I might live with a little wordy birdie at my house. How about you? This says, hi there, you'll never guess what just happened to us. Should I start with the part about the forest, the bear, or how much I love unicorns? And that's why her name is Wordy Birdie. This was Wordy Birdie, written by Tammy Sawyer and illustrated by Dave Motram. Thank you for being my audience. And as the reader, uh, my name is Monica, and I am from the Umatilla County Special Library District Takeoff Program. Have a fantastic day.